Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, online app to keep your internet live and running at all time. This application will keep uh, your internet um, at the fresh state at all times, so uh, it will be monitoring your internet speed and your modem. And if there is any necessary changes need to be made to your modem, it will do that and clear the cache to make sure that you know you're having always the optimum speed and browsing capabilities. So the way to go around that is go to latechef.com So this is it. And scroll to the bottom. This is actually an um, international recipe site but uh, the development team we have actually developed the software to help a couple of friends and family and we decided to post it for the rest of you. Just a little couple of things about that. It's a free um, license agreement. So use it at your own risk. Click on the download link. Click on save. And once this uh, is saved, open the folder. Like so. Copy the zip file to your C drive. Make sure that you copy the file to your C drive. So once it is copied to the C drive, right click on it and go extract. So once you extract that, you will see an online fo folder here. Double click on that and then you will see that green lo logo of the uh, late chef, like so. So that's the main application. So double click on that and you will have this uh, application running here. And then next step would be to um, uh, show you what it is. Yeah, I'll just pin this. One of the uh, LEDs is called online. So this is the one that shows the internet browsing. So if you have the internet uh, working fine, it will be green. And the network uh, LED is the indication of the modem status. So if the modem is healthy and it's running well, then it will be green. If there's some issues with this, it will be yellow. So let's say you have, uh, you do have the modem is functioning properly, but um, it's not at the optimum uh, capabilities. Then it will be yellow. If this is red, that means the modem has uh, crashed and needs to be um, cleared the cache or restarted. So this will automatically do so. But if this is red, then uh, inevitably the online LED will be red as well. So how to go around setting this up? Click on setting. And here you'll see the um, IP address, username, and password. So this is the IP address of your modem. So once you come to your browser, you write the IP address here, you'll be able to log into your modem. So once you're logged into your modem, uh, your modem may ask you for the uh, username and password in order to allow you to make any changes to the uh, network modem. And that username and password is the one that should must be going here. If you don't have them correct, then this won't be uh, communicating with the modem. Now, how to make sure that the software is perfectly able to send and receive commands between the modem and the software? So there is a couple options here. There's default one, default two, and smart RG. This is the, this is the modem that actually we have developed and tested intensively under, but it's been uh, tested under few other modems that um, we have not included here yet because their 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 commands are under the, the uh, cases of default one and default two so we did not indicate it so just select default one and press test you'll see the black screens flashing so that's sending commands to the modem so a couple of times because some modems they require one time some modems require two or three times I personally have not in seen a modem requiring more than three times but I never really can tell how the engineer is developed um, and once you click the test button you want to make sure that the modem is restarting so physically take a look at the modem and see if the LEDs they all go blank and they start the restarting uh, procedure if that does not occur then select second default and then do it again and make sure like if this is being restarted so 
if still does not restart, then um, I would suggest you to go scripting. It's a bit more advanced, but not too difficult. So deselect the select modem. And here you can write the command line. This is a remote command to restart the modem remotely. So default 1 sends a code restart. And uh, default 2 sends a code reboot. So these two are eliminated once you you know try default 1 and 2 and they did not work. So another one you can uh, try is reset. That might uh, be able to do that. Um, but I would so strongly um, ask you to look at the uh, procedure and the manual of the modem because reset for DSL modems will actually remove the um, uh, settings that has been set up. So um, I would suggest you to actually go online and uh, make sure the restart um, code for your modem, right? So you, you may actually want to do something like this. Uh, go to Google and uh, type in something like this Telnet Remote Restart and you'll have your modem model so you would write your modem model here and you should be able to get some kind of a uh, command there. So if you're not able to find it on Google, I would strongly suggest you to go and ask the um, call, give it a call or contact somehow to your uh, manufacturer of the modem and they will be able to tell you. So basically you want to know the remote code for the uh, restarting the modem. Once that's done and you test it and the modem does restart indeed, you can auto start it. So once this application is launched, then it will automatically start monitoring and making any changes needed to the modem to make sure it's wor working at the highest state. In order to make also the uh, the application fully automated, then I would um, suggest you to go to the uh, folder where, uh, where you have done unzipped it, so C drive online, of course, and then right click and go to send to and then desktop. So once you create a desktop uh, shortcut, you may copy this or cut and then paste it to start up like I did so. So now every time your computer will restart, it will automatically start the software and the software will start monitoring and making sure that the internet is working correctly. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Happy browsing.